third apostle of Rome would often visit the Vatican to meet with the Pope or distinguished cardinals and other high-ranking church officials. Sometimes he'd even show up with half of his beard shaved off or stroke the beards of one of the Swiss guards standing by with a very serious look on their face. The third apostle of Rome is also known as the patron saint of humor and is better known as Saint Philip Neri. Saint Philip was born in Florence, Italy in the 16th century in the year 1515. When he was 18, he was sent to work with a relative with the hopes of taking over the family business. However, God had different plans. And on his way there, Saint Philip had a deep and profound conversion experience. He made the decision to instead head on over to Rome. Inspired by his good friend, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Philip decided that Rome was going to be his apostolate. Now, during this time in the church's history, Rome was in a spiritually rough shape. However, this did not stop Saint Philip. He evangelized the people of Rome with his infectious joy and good humor. He reached out to the people in the most direct way possible. He met them in the streets of Rome and went to the people where they were. In the evenings, Saint Philip would often spend some time alone in prayer, in a church or in the catacombs of the early Christians. One year, on the eve of Pentecost, Saint Philip had a divine and mystical encounter with our Lord. He saw a ball of fire that entered into his mouth and suddenly he was filled with divine love. His heart was filled with such divine love that Saint Philip cried out, Enough! Enough, Lord! I can bear no more! Later on, it was discovered that Saint Philip was filled with such divine love that his heart literally doubled in size. It grew so big that it actually broke two of his ribs just to fit the heart. It was Saint Philip's humorous and joyful nature that witnessed to God's love. He tells us that it is far easier to be a saint with a joyful heart than with a sad one. It is especially during difficult moments that we must remember the joy that our Lord has given us. True joy doesn't cover up or ignore sadness and difficulty. True joy embraces it, places it at the foot of the cross and allows our Lord to sanctify it. Today, let us follow the example of the humorous saint, Saint Philip Neri. May our homes be a home of Christian mirth just like St. Philip's house was in Rome. Let us remember today that our joy is in Christ Jesus and that in Him, our joy is complete. So let us serve the Lord with joy and gladness that our own lives may be a witness to God's love. St. Philip Neri, pray for us. <laughs>